This video should remind you how to sketch simple logarithmic functions. And before we start into it, I want to uh, write out uh, a couple of examples of logarithmic functions. Let's start out with log base 5 of 25. Now recall that when we're pondering what the answer is to this logarithmic question, uh, we can think of the answer by rewriting the logarithmic equation in the exponential form. So really what this logarithm is asking is if I take 5 and I raise it to an exponent and I get as a result 25, what does that exponent have to be? Well, it, it has to be 5. So this unknown value, question mark, is 2. And uh, another example, suppose we were doing log base 2 of 16. And we didn't know what that was. This logarithmic equation could translate into its exponential form. 2 raised to some unknown exponent equals 16. That means that that exponent would need to be 4. And one final example to complete the warm-up. Suppose we have log base 4 of 64 equals, and this time rather than question mark, let's call it q. This would translate to 4 raised to the q equals 64. And if you consult a table of powers or just your, your general knowledge base, you'd realize, oh, q in this case has to be 3. That's because 4 to the third is 64. All right, now let's continue on to sketching logarithmic equations. Suppose the logarithm equation that we're trying to sketch is y equals logarithm base 3 of x. And let's start out an x and y t-chart. And let's put into this various values. Uh, now, these are like specifically designed to have this work out nicely. One third, one ninth, and let's think each of these through. So the first one, if we were trying to do logarithm base 3 of 9, we'd be looking for an exponent, which if we raised 3 to that exponent, we would get 9. So the resulting y value obviously has to be 2. If we continue on with logarithm base 3 of 3, we'd be asking, hey, what exponent do I have to raise the base 3 to in order to get a result of 3? 1. What do I have to raise 3 to in order to get a result of 1? 0. What do I have to raise the base 3 to? in order to get a result of one-third, well that exponent would need to be negative one. What exponent would I need to raise the base three to in order to get a result of one-ninth? That would be negative two. And so now we have a nice t-chart. Let's draw a sketch of the resulting five points. Now the x values, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, will need to at least extend outward on the x-axis to nine. The y values reach as high as two for this chart and go as low as negative two. Let's just put, put these points in, x9, y2, point, x3, y1, point, x1, y0, x1 third, pretty close to the y-axis with a resulting y value of negative 1, and x equaling 1 ninth, y value negative 2, even closer to the y-axis. This y-axis is known as a vertical asymptote. In other words, the curve gets extremely close to, but never touches the y-axis. Now, if we were to continue on into a slightly more complicated function and sketching that, let's say y 
equals logarithm base 3 of x minus 2. To repeat, this new function also has the term subtract 2. So when we create the t chart for x and y, we can utilize the same x values 9, 3, 1, 1 third, and 1 ninth, but all of the resulting y values, which previously were 2, 1, 0, negative 1, and negative 2, all have to be decreased by 2, resulting in 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. Putting all of that together, we'll create a new graph and this graph will need to be shifted downward from previous graph. The highest y value 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. Marking off the x-axis, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. First point is 9 comma 0. Second point, 3 comma negative 1 third point, 1 comma negative 2, fourth point, 1 third negative 3, and fifth point, 1 ninth comma negative 4. It still has the y-axis as a vertical asymptote and has the same shape as the previous but just shifted down by 2.